Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with another selection of multiplayer races. For this one, we are going racing with B-Class vehicles. The rules where they have to be fitted with the 1.6 litre turbo rally engine, which is not really the best engine. It's difficult to build with, and in B-Class it makes it... Uh, well, a bit of a faff. Most cars, if you put the engine in it, don't have the PI to get the tyres that you would want, or bits and pieces that you would want. And I mean, I've gone a completely different route, I think, to everybody else here, in that the turbo rally engine goes in the Ford Ranger Raptor, um, which is a choice. The MG is one to look out for. I know they're very good in this game. Um, although I don't know whether they're any good with a turbo rally engine, certainly. Uh, we've got a couple of transits. There's a gull wing. A couple of gull wings, actually. There's a wooling. Uh, racing Puma, not a bad shout. Uh, like I said, I have gone completely different to everybody else. I'm all-wheel drive. I've got off-road race tyres on this. They're big off-road race tyres, though. Uh, so we should have some decent grip. I mean, we're going to be the heaviest vehicle here, I would think. Um, which isn't great. We do have a lot of gears, though. We have the most gears, probably, of anyone, unless someone has put the 10 speed. I've just got to remember to short shift a lot, uh, which I will inevitably forget about doing. Um, just how, it, how it's going to go, I'm afraid. I, I'm sorry. I will try and remember I need to short shift a crazy amount in this truck, because uh, the power in the turbo rally is around... It's not as bad as it used to be in some of the older motorsport games, but, uh, yeah, the power's not at the red line, pretty much. Uh, the MG, I, you know what, I might have had the grip to go around the outside of it there, to be honest with you. Uh, if I'd been brave, maybe we could have done that. Uh, yeah, probably should have should given it a try. I mean, look, my tyres aren't going to be great for this. Uh, although street furniture has scuppered an MG. Do we have a go at the inside here? Uh, I mean, you can't really crowd the Ford out of this one. The Ford is... Uh, <laughs> Ford does not fear because, you know, you can lean on this and this isn't going to move. If I lean on an MG, that'll move. The Mustang, I don't know what tyres the Mustang is going to be on, but uh, it doesn't seem to have much top end, so that might be on... I might put it on semi-slicks if you're brave. I mean, that's the route that I've gone to sometimes with builds. I, I've gone a lot more rally off-road focused for this build than I would perhaps normally um, with one of these sessions. I mean, I know this is going to come good when we go to the off-road stuff. I don't think anything is going to match it off-road. And the fact that we're here fighting with these two... Well, that's not quite fighting fighting yet, but we're not a million miles off two much more sensible vehicles uh, as we head around the final corner. I mean, we've got decent handling in this. The MG is going to have a look to the lead of the race here, uh, to the inside, and looks like it will get it. The Mustang might try and duck back underneath through this sort of turn one, turn two area. Sure enough, it's there, it's having a look. Uh, has not quite got enough momentum, although the MG's out wide. Now, this is what we want to see. I want to see the pair of them fighting. I think the Mustang... Is the Mustang close enough to fire it down the inside? It isn't. Uh, the funny thing is that the really, really technical parts, I guess because we've got the all-wheel drive traction, maybe, the MG gets a little bit of understeer. The Mustang sometimes slides. Uh, but yeah, the technical sections, we've actually very quick. Uh, they are wary of the street furniture. That's gone and not been replaced, uh, which is helpful. Mustang looking to try and fire back up the inside, can't do it. It's a little bit scruffy, which has brought us into range, pretty much. Uh, yeah, now the Ford is going to have to be looking more behind it than forward, I should think. Although, not if we do that. That was foolish. Uh, I mean, the, yeah, the off-road race tyres are strong tyres on road. They're still good. They're not as good as some, but they are still a good tyre. Um, as you can see, we're still competitive with the big pickup truck. Uh, the engine isn't the best in the world for this, probably for this sort of vehicle. I mean, this isn't the engine that I would go for in the truck if I was building it normally for B-Class, let's say. Uh, however, it is propelling it along. I mean, we're easy flat through there. Which is not bad for what we are. We have lost a little bit of ground though to the Mustang. I've not had a very good lap, and I think the Ford has actually had a better, it's had a good lap. It's actually gained, if anything, on the MG. Sadly, we're just stuck a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it is the way it goes sometimes. But uh, yeah, around this track, we are just a little bit of a spectator. 
uh, as they all oh, slide from the Ford is all a little bit out of shape. Uh, considering this is, I guess, quite outside of my truck's comfort zone, this track. Not, not displeased. If we could be very quick down this bottom part of the circuit, we can really throw it through there. The MGs had a really bad run on this final lap of the race. Uh, we are not going to be close enough. No one can really profit from anything here as we round penultimate corner. Uh, transit missed a checkpoint, I would imagine. Uh, that's how it's ended up back there. One more turn to go. Mustang brushes the wall. We brush the wall. <laughs> We're on the podium, though. Around the technical street circuit and the off-road truck will put itself onto the podium. Yeah, we we're a few tenths down on the top two, but I mean, we were there or thereabouts. If anyone had slipped up, we would have been able to profit. Yeah, 52-1. Um, the, the Puma expected that to be fast, the Gullwing. But, I mean, we're there or thereabouts with the Gullwing and the Puma, and this is... Uh, and the Wooling as well. Yeah, this is, this is you know, out, say outside the Rangers' specialty here. I think it's a, it's a very, very sort of stuff. Transit's not working. Not working quite so well. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> There we go. We head off to the Caldera Scramble for our next race. I mean, this should be about as strong a circuit as we get for my vehicle. If it doesn't win here, then I'd say we're in trouble. I mean, it's fast all the time, but yeah, this is what the truck was geared towards. We know that the MG and the uh, SVO are both on off-road race tyres, but they're front and rear-wheel drive respectively. We are, I think, the only all-wheel drive thing in the field, possibly. Uh, the traction we get, uh, that Datsun might be, but I think that's on weird tyres, so... Uh, or on standard tyres or something, so yeah, that's not really going to be a, much of a factor. I guess one of the vans might be... Uh, all-wheel drive, I don't know. We didn't really see much of it in the first race. Uh, the MG has got some power coming up the hill. Uh, unlikely to have... Well, I mean... You're not quickest in B-Class, so it might be able to make the most of some of its grip. Uh, we do need to get past the transit quickly. So we're going to duck underneath it and let it wander around a little bit wide. I mean, our best bet is going to probably be out of turn one. Uh, we should be better through the debris field of rocks there in theory, but uh, it is not to be the case at the moment. So yeah, in theory we should be better coming out of this corner. We should have the grip, but the MG is much lighter than us, and I guess it can keep up its momentum, then it's not too bad. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. If anything, it's here. The MG struggles a little bit with understeer. Uh, we're just trying to pick and choose our line. Yeah, okay, so you can see the understeer starting to creep in for that uh, for that little MG. Where are we going to pick and choose our way past it? Uh, we've again got a good run. In fact, I didn't expect the MG to leave the inside open like that. If I'd known, I wouldn't have... <laughs> I would have just thrown the truck to the inside there. Okay, I mean, we're closer than we were last time around, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be easy. That MG is putting up a good fight here. Uh, we are again to the inside for the climb up the hill. Not going to be able to do anything. Uh, we're going to have to set it up through here, I think, is the way it's gonna, where it's going to happen. And then, yeah, set it up all the way through here. Might be able to get to the inside through this part if we don't lose the back end slightly ourselves. Um, yeah, we're going to have to be just ready, basically, for the MG to be slow or, yeah, set up exactly as we did on the transit. Set it up on that change of direction. Uh, make the most of the range of strengths. And we are past. Now, I might have to defend into turn one, although the MG did slide wide on its own accord there. So we might be safe this lap around. We can throw the Ranger in. We parked it a little bit on the apex on the way in just to stop the MG from being able to dive bomb. And it has done the trick. And if anything, now the MG's got some company from the Ford. Uh, we will to hopefully not make any mistakes through here. I mean, we've got to still carry. We know that MG is very quick. We know the Mustang is also quick. So... Can't afford to slack off, so to speak. Right. 
do slide about a bit with this. I mean, I know we're on dirt and everything, but uh, yeah, the back end does move about on the Ranger. It's uh, I mean, not what you want. It'll shrug off a little bit of speed. One more lap to go. We have pulled clear, which is what we have. I was thinking that the all-wheel drive of this was going to give me a little bit more of an advantage. The other two vehicles still pretty good. I know we're in B-Class, and... I mean, everyone's running about 300 and a bit horsepower because well, we're all in the same engine and if you've got off-road race tyres you've probably not got that much PI to work with. So, <laughs> everyone's running similar powers. Uh, I am just much heavier than everything else. So that is that is my that is the downside for me. Uh, we have got a relatively modern chassis and everything going on. We know the Ranger Raptor's not bad at all to drive. Uh, oh, the Ford must have missed a checkpoint. That's unlucky. <laughs> I know we've all been there. I've been there. I, just, I know. Um... Yeah, that is unfortunate for the Mustang. Yeah, we have pulled clear. It's not as big a margin as I was hoping, or I say would have liked, ideally, and everything. Uh, not the best final lap by me either, to be fair. But uh, we will claim a victory. The Raptor was good where the Raptor was supposed to be good. <laughs> you know, kind of needed to be. Um, although the Mustang actually did get a slightly faster lap in all of that. I think there was a little bit more time in, uh, in that Ranger, but... That's a good, it's a good lap from, from the Mustang. Uh, Transit gets fourth in this one as some of the uh, less suited vehicles are <laughs> coming across the line. Ugh. Well, we avoided the embarrassing potential slip up there. Um, hey, victory is a victory. So I'm happy with that. We head to the Garden Circuit for our next race. It is at all tarmac track. Uh, we are probably not going to be as strong here, uh, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, there's a couple of places where maybe the all-wheel drive traction and just the sheer tyre widths are going to be helpful, but uh, I think the likes of the Puma, the likes of the Gull Wings are going to be stronger here. Uh, we know uh, we know the Mustang is going to be fast, we know the MG is going to be fast here, uh, so yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do what we can. We'll be good off the line, I guess, to a degree. Uh, not to the I say not to the greatest degree. Uh, we would have some fast starting cars in front of us already. Uh, okay, let's see. How do we fare through here compared to the likes of the Puma and those Mercedeses? Uh, I mean, we're, we're not bad, but uh, yeah, they are going to be better handling than us. Ooh, that's fine. We've already got the Mustang behind. Now, what is going to be our advantage here? We don't have to worry about sliding. Uh, not that. Many of the... Uh, you might have a little oversteer in some of the rear-wheel drive cars. Probably depend on the uh, tyre widths you've got. Yeah, we don't really have to worry about any of that. We can just boot it and go for it. And the Mustang's having a look but can't do it down here. That's good for me. Uh, you're not really going to find a way past at the bottom uh, of this, oh, this section. I'm going to have to have a bit of a lift through there because I didn't quite get that one right. And the Mustang is going to profit from all of that. The gull wings in all oh, Ford sandwich here as we barrel down towards the first corner. The MG is going to make it four wide. The MG might get all of us here. I am going to get stuck out wide with nowhere to go. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we really did not have much room in. I say not much room. That was the problem that the line, the angle I ended up on. The MG was very clever and made that one work. But it struck us with understeer through here, for example as it's battling away with the Ford. I braked too much for that corner. Could definitely have got away with more speed there than I actually did. Uh, the Gullwing must have missed a checkpoint or something. It has vanished. Uh, not quite got braking right in some places with this yet. Okay, what can we do in terms of trying to make a march forward here? Uh... I mean, the best bet is really hope for some other cars to have a fight, uh, I feel. <laughs> it does seem to be where we're making most of our lap time. We're flat through here, although so is most of the cars. The MG slides and bumps the wall. It is the Ford Puma that leads the way. Oh, that's too fast. Okay, we are... St <laughs> we have a decent amount of grip in this. It's not bad. We are still a pickup truck in a field of hatchbacks. Uh, we've got to remember... Well, we're a pickup truck and a field of hatchbacks on off-road race tyres. Have got to remember what level of grip we have, and that's too much of an ask as well. Yeah, just... Well, I say that, the MG is asking a bit too much as well, which is... 
I think which is kind of goading me almost into this in places. Come on. The MG's struggling a little bit with grit. Um, it kind of surprises me uh, around this track. It was so fast at the first circuit uh, that it's, uh, I am surprised. I mean, it's got great acceleration. That is just because it's so light uh, compared, compared to me, for example. It's got basically the same power as me and is not quite half the weight, but uh, probably not that far off. We're 3,700 pounds in this, which is quite a lot of weight to be uh, lugging around through this course when I've got the same engine as all the other cars. Uh, still not quite got turn one right. We've really reeled in the MG there. Even though I've not been getting it right, we've reeled in the MG here. Uh, can we do anything? It won't come through. It might come off this corner. This is the one where we are quick. Uh, not quite. The MG doesn't brush the wall this time around. I've got to remember to do a short shifting a little bit. Every time we get close, the MG can just scamper away down the next straight. Yeah, and it's actually sorted itself out this lap. The, the other SVO is actually caught us a little bit this time around as well. So that's an ever-present threat if I make a little mistake anywhere. We know the MG has struggled through this final section uh, in all the previous laps. Doesn't this time around. Uh, I was trying to push it as hard as I could through there. And we did brush the wall. Yeah, I just don't quite have... I don't quite have the pace. It's the acceleration is, is what's letting me down. We have the grip, like, through the corners. I actually think we can live with these other cars. But because of the weight of the truck, we don't quite have the acceleration. Which, you know, is a choice. Um, I, was, I, say, I was hoping maybe the oil drive traction would be worth a little bit more. Than it actually has been. It looks like the Gullwing's going for a pass for the lead uh, over the Ford. That would be an I say it would be a good run for the Gullwing. I mean, the Gullwing's another vehicle you don't expect to have a turbo rally engine uh, in it particularly. Um, I don't know whether it's got the pass done. We can't see it anymore. They're, they've got out of sight. Yeah, I was hoping maybe a little bit more from the truck. We were good in the first first tarmac race around here. Not not terrible, but definitely not uh, not good enough for us. Uh, we will cross the line in a fifth place. Sadly, a little bit of a lonely fifth. We kind of closed a little bit and then uh, slipped back and just kind of followed an MG around for a bit. And then the Mustang just followed us. Uh, there was a close, close tussle up at the front. Uh, I'll be interested to see what way it goes. I think it did, did go the way of the Puma uh, by a tenth of a second. Yeah, I mean, me, the MG, the uh, what the uh, second of the SVOs, the Transit, all very similar. Even the Wuling was faster, actually. Similar lap times, but didn't have an answer for the Puma, the, uh, the other Gullwing, and the Mustang. And everything's on off-road race tyres by the looks of it for, uh, for this one. We head to the River Scramble for our next race. A nice spot on the grid for us. Uh... I mean, there'll be a couple of places around this track our car will be strong. Uh, overall, I think we might still lack a little bit of pace. It's the uh, it's the acceleration. Although, up the muddy kind of hill, maybe, maybe we will have the advantage. And out of the slow, uh, slow corner after the water splash, that might also be another strong part for our Raptor. You'll know the corner I mean. Uh, pretty quickly, it's a corner where everybody runs wide and hits the wall. We will launch faster than the Pew. In fact, it's all Fords in the top three. The Mustang, uh, my Ranger, and the Puma. I mean, the Puma does then get going uh, again. We might... Oh, there goes the Datsun. But we kind of ignore the Datsun a little bit because it's silly and overpowered. And uh, <laughs> as entertaining as it is, uh, it doesn't really work, unfortunately. Uh, it's not really been able to use its power anywhere. So, yeah, we, we know the Puma's a little bit better in general uh, around the corners, but this section here may be where the Ranger is very, very strong, and indeed it is uh, all over the back of the Puma. Uh, it's not quite as muddy up this hill. I was hoping the Puma might have traction struggles coming up this hill. It doesn't seem to. We are faster out of the slow... Basically, we want lots of slow corners. That's where the Raptor is strong. I mean, it might not be too bad once it's up to speed as well. Uh, we won't have the oversteer that the Mustang might get, for example. Can we 
barrel in here with a lot of speed? They probably can, actually. Uh, okay, well, that's good news for us as well uh, in terms of potentially chasing down that car. The problem is we're quicker than the Puma in places, but I think overall it's going to beat us, uh, judging by the fact that it's now gapped us. So without a mistake, I think it's going to be difficult to catch that car. Uh, I think we're going to have to settle for can we keep the Mustang behind. I mean, we can be re said we can be ready to pick up the pieces if there is any opportunity, and there are a couple of places where we are better suited, uh, but it's only a couple, really. The gull wings up into fourth. I don't know where the MG is. I'm expecting that will be uh, making its way forward uh, at some point uh, around here. Uh, yeah, we can definitely carry good speed through there. I mean, this. This section might be enough to keep us ahead at least of the Mustang. At the end of at the end of the day, you know, if we if we run in second place the entire race, it's still not too bad. It's still not terrible. Um, so the, the gamble going with this going with this truck is the, the weight. The weight was always going to be the weight. The handling was always going to be the the gamble uh, with an engine that you know not intended for a massive pickup truck. I'm playing it way too risky with the checkpoints. Uh, the Mustang has caught a smidge. Yeah, we can't we can't match that Puma for speed. Uh, the good news is outside of the Mustang, nothing else is going with us here. So uh, the Gullwig in fourth on his car is, is not keeping pace. Now, if the Mustang wants to have a dive to the inside, it can, because it will be on the outside for the next bit. We can just park the truck and we have the traction off the corner. Uh, I think it's going to be a defensive race for us now. Uh, we know we'll get great drive off here. Uh, I mean, the water is also less of a problem for us. We actually have the ground clearance. Uh, so, yeah, we can throw the vehicle in. We can throw it a little bit narrow, uh, perhaps maybe a little bit too narrow, actually. Uh, the Ford carried better speed through there than I thought it was going to. Come on, Ranger. We can try desperately to cling on to this second place. We gapped a little bit going up that hill. That's helpful. Uh, is that the tarmac section is where I think we're most vulnerable now. Uh, we will head over the jump. I yeah, don't, think, don't think anything's really going to be able to pass us down here necessarily. Although the Mustang's got good speed closer down this section than I thought it was going to be. Uh, right, so we will just be neat and tidy all the way through there. Okay, we've got a little bit of a gap, which is what we have to have, because we know the Mustang is going to catch all the way down here. It's got better aerodynamics, it's, it is lighter, so it will have more acceleration down this part. Again, we'll give the inside to a degree, because the important bit is... I do not want to be... Yeah, <laughs> the important bit is send the Mustang around the outside there, which is what we did, and the Mustang ran in a bit too hot, couldn't get it stopped and turned, and end up sli sliding up into the wall. And that has given us a reprieve. As long as we don't do anything stupid on this lap, oh, like that, well, no, Mustang did as, as stupid as me, so... <laughs> Bad says we don't anything stupid on that lap. I don't think Mustang's going to get close enough, but we both slid into the wall. It's kind of ended up being uh, all all even there. Uh, Mustang will not be close enough to challenge. Tell you what, that Cuba's found a crazy amount of speed around this track. It's really worked. This is the most one-sided race we've seen in this uh, set so far. It has just completely vanished. Uh, as I said, for us... I mean, we're not too bad. We're probably the third quickest car here. The Mustang is a little bit faster. Uh, we can just be awkward and difficult to overtake because we're a big pickup truck uh, and we've got the all-wheel drive traction in places where the Mustang doesn't. So, yeah, we will come home in second. It was a good... It was a good fight. I enjoyed the race. Fords dominate the podium on this one with the Gullwing crossing the line in a little bit more of a distant fourth that time around. Where did the MG end up? Unless it missed a checkpoint somewhere along the way, which is always possible, I guess. There goes the uh, transit. Um, oh, the MG was the one that disconnected. That would explain where the, <laughs> the MG was in all of that. Oh, bloody hell, the speed of that Puma was ridiculous there. That was very, very quick indeed.
It is the final race for my somewhat oddball Raptor. Oh, we start on the front row yet again, but this is not likely to be a track that uh, that my vehicle likes. Uh, it's high speed. I mean, we have we have a decent amount of grip. We have a decent enough amount of grip, but the high speed nature of this circuit. There's, I mean, maybe two acceleration zones where this will be strong uh, stronger uh, but that's about it yeah not not gonna hold out massively for this i mean we'll see what we can do you never know the uh <laughs> datsun's gonna work anywhere it'll be here uh, although this somehow gotta try and gather it all up for these corners it'll uh be terrifying in terms of the uh <laughs> It says the experience, so yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do with the range. If we have stability, it's always a useful thing to have. The uh, Alpine does not. Uh, we can carry a lot of speed through all of this. Uh, we will try and sneak our way to the front, but here comes that Puma. Now, this is the section where we will be strong. Uh, we can probably just jump on the throttle and not have too many issues. We might leave the first lap, but I doubt it's going to hold for too long. Uh, I would say that's that's fine. It's to be expected. We can send the Puma the long way around. It might not quite have the grip to do it yet, and we will shut the door on it. No, it doesn't. However, I think it's only a matter of time until it does find a way. Part it'll just out accelerate us. We can continue to send it a long way around. We're not going to make it easy for that uh, for that vehicle. Can it hold that? I was hoping it was going to understeer up into the wall. It didn't. Uh, it's just got a little bit too much grip for me uh, to deal with. Now, we know the MG is very fast down these straights. Uh, I didn't even want to give it the space to the inside, although it hasn't been able to take the quarter speed to the inside there to make that pass stick. Uh, is, is Brave having a dive to the inside there? There is not... Uh, let's say... It's, not a huge amount of room, which is making a big old train behind our Ranger, although I'm not sure it's all just behind us. I think a lot of guards fighting amongst themselves did not need to bump that wall. That was unnecessary and foolish uh, by me. Oh, there goes a Mustang to the inside now. <laughs> Different thing looking for a way past. The Mustang will also get this move completed, I should think. Plus, that doesn't have the craziest amount of straight line speed. The MG's to the inside. Uh... I do not want to be on the outside of three wide through there because I will get fed up into the wall. As you saw, the Mustang ended up wandering wide. Uh, we might be able to fight back against the Mustang here. Uh, we do not want to have to back out of this one. We've got some momentum going in the Ranger. We're going to keep the Mustang out wide uh, if we can here. Uh, we've got the, uh, another Mustang coming to join in the fun. Uh, we will try desperately to fight a way past. I'm hoping so. Ah. I was hoping one of the vehicles in front cleared the rocks out. They didn't really. Uh, the <laughs> second of the Mustangs actually backed out of that one. They could have made that. Could maybe have put their vehicle alongside and uh, tried to make something happen there. They chose not to in the end. Sliding from the vehicle ahead has actually given me a good run across the start-finish line. Come on, Ranger. Could we get on the, if we get on the podium here? I'd actually be very impressed with this vehicle because this is really not my sort. Of, this is not really... My car sort of track here. Uh, we will. There, were <laughs> there, there was. I mean, the width of a Mustang on the outside and no more left there. That was a little bit rude. Uh, that was very much on the limit of leaving space for a Mustang on the outside. Is it going to try and dive bomb us? I can't even see it. My vehicle's too big. I can't. When I look back, I can't see if there's a car there. That uh, Mustang is going to hold it. Uh, we try to hold it around the outside. We're still going to go side by side now as we run down the hill. Because the SVO just doesn't really have that much straight line speed either. Uh, we're out wide. Oh, no, we've got the Gull Wings. The Gull Wings squad has turned up. This has been an absolutely ridiculous race. It's been good fun. Oh, no. Got on the throttle too soon. I think we're going to get... Oh, no, this is the final lap. Ah. Oh. I tried everything. I'm actually impressed with the competitiveness. I think more because we created a train. Did someone miss a checkpoint? The Someone must have missed a checkpoint. Because we were fourth, weren't we? Uh, What did... Oh, the Puma missed a checkpoint. 
<laughs> oh, no, that sucks. The MG takes victory. We get the Raptor on the podium of the track. It really didn't belong. We were just able to make a wide truck for most of that. Uh, <laughs> well, there we go. I mean, the turbo... I said, this, this was a difficult class. It was designed to be awkward to build for... I took a punt at something a little bit different and... I mean, it kind of worked in some regard. I mean, it won a race, it, it scored podiums. I'm glad I went for it. I'm not sure it's the best way, I'm not sure it was the best way to go. However, uh, it was something a little bit different and yeah, did not perform too badly at all. That though is going to be it for this uh, for this video. If you would like to sign up to take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Versus the Community sign up section and you can register to take part in there. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.